Okay, I have decided. This is it. Gilded. It's like this. It goes up to... Wait. Yeah. Very good, very good. Super critical multiplier. 25% critical chance. 92 leap attack and 197 spin. So every spin attack is 200. 18% status. As long as we go above 50 it's gonna be great. And uh, a lot of slash and a lot of viral. A lot of impact. This is great. It's balanced. So we get a lot of um, different basic damages. Balanced. Vargit G2. Uh, we already have the blueprint, so we gotta build one more. Did we build it already? Maybe. Centuries adrift. How fried it is. Have not been kind. I suppose all cephalons degrade, don't they? I think we are ready. Vargit J2. Plague Bocking. And play Kivar. Mm. I probably do need a weapon slot. I really do like the ceramic dana. Oh, we can sell the two in Gremlins. They are Master Authority, yeah. Mm. I guess we didn't need the standing. That's it. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah. If it's not okay, we will rebuild it. Not too shabby. Fed like helped with some of the Cholasura. Now, do we have an... Never abandon a fellow cephalon, but centuries adrift. How fried it is. Have not been kind. I suppose all cephalons degrade, don't they? Do we have any stance mod? Oh, we have this? Hmm.
Let's start with this. Ah. Let's start with this for now. Flashing forest. But I want a great pressure point first, so <laughs> we're gonna do that later. Oh yeah, I can't modify the appearance. Can we upgrade car? Yes. This is the only car that we have. That we can upgrade, but I don't have enough. Uh, I'll put an intensify. Don't really need the abilities in this frame. Maybe I'll get Amrol Vitality. Let's get Patagio now. And Glide and Wall Watch. Maybe we'll get this um, Riven unlocked. Now, any mission, it's good. I know the Vacor Hex pretty good. Yeah. And also, I'm gonna do that right now. I gotta see if I can buy a Simulacro. Mm, Corona Rebellion. I don't know how much. <laughs> Seven on standing I have. Stefan Simaris, let's see. These can make you an even but I, I'm missing one sigil though. But I don't need this enemy weakness. I'll get the... I'll get the simulacrum matches key first. You know, yesterday um, a few people in here, they took me to do a um, an Eidolon hunt, which mm -hmm. I haven't done since it first came out, but... I don't really get what their purpose is. It's not necessarily that fun to do. Uh, like, I mean, I don't find it fun. I mean, is um, do you ever try Terali stunts as well? The, That's the um, like second level idol on, right? No, <laughs> That's the, uh, the the third level. <laughs> like basically, in uh, Plane of Eidolons, you start with basic missions. And you can basically use them while you mastery rank up or to test out abilities and, we and weapons. Uh, and uh, I also just scan the spaceship when I'm there, so I get um, the Cephalon standing. And then you can get standing to then build uh, the Zaw. That's the main purpose of, on Chetus, let's say. And uh, also you get um, the quills that are basically linked to the focus tree. So you you start getting cores and uh, once you get the quills you can unlock uh, more stuff in the focus tree and get like energy buffs and strength buffs uh, and stuff like that. Hmm. It's pretty long. Uh, it's not an easy. It's a long thing. It's a long process. <laughs> That's it. Buying the simulacrum key. Boom. 
What offerings will this item help you bring to the sanctuary? I'm gonna go craft it. <laughs> oh wait! No, it's not in the ship. It's just in the relay, right? Uh, seems like wrong. yes, I believe so. Hmm. I never tested the the simulacrum. I always watch uh, vids uh, with <laughs> reviews. <laughs> but yeah, doing play the vital ones. Uh, uh, also, there's one important thing, like, uh, there are five different tiers, once you start getting standing, you get unlocked the next tier. And... Well, the only thing to get Ostron standing for is to increase, like, how good your amp is, right? Is that essentially what people just farm it for? No, you start farming that to increase your, your standing, and then you, there is a second stage, and a third stage. A fourth stage and a fifth stage and to unlock that you, you need to fish as well and to get fishes uh uh in the place you gotta, you gotta fish <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's kind of fun and uh, uh like uh <laughs> there are like many different types of mission like the most boring one, I, I'll say they're the um, where you have to stay for two minutes to defend uh, the location. But the other one, if you have a frame that is really fast, so you want to make a um, a build for your frame that can do can be really fast. I, like when I started, I used Vault. If you make a long lasting duration build for the speed, you just complete the quest really, really fast. So it's, hmm. it's not just about like completing the quest, it's just how you complete them. Like if you complete them fast, you get st standing uh, way faster than other players. And uh, yeah, it's basically that. Uh. And yeah, after you get all of the standing, you can start buying better fishing rods. Uh, you can start buying the ores blueprint that are also used to craft the warframes, so you don't have to buy the <laughs> the things for plat. <laughs> like I don't know. Also, the arcanes that you put on your warframe on your weapons, and so you can put arcanes. You get that from Citus, and basically the arcane for the warframe you get them from the Terali stands. That came from the weapon, you get them. Uh, mm, buying. Uh, I don't know, I have mine, I boxed like with the, with the vents, so the, you, you could have bought like uh, arcades in the operational supply area. <laughs> and also, you can buy. You can buy a lot of stuff right there. Also, I sold fishes for platinum. Mm. <laughs> I can sell. F Wait, people actually buy fish? I mean, I bought. I sold fishes for platinum. <laughs> the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point to have a good fishing rod. <laughs> no, the p if I know the fishing location. And also, you can buy Kavat uh, color set or something like that. If you have. Um, um, ors. Uh, and something else, maybe fish part. I don't know, I'm not sure, but that's like some sort of rotation that is not available every day. Oh, so now, okay, now I can use the simulacrum. What's the strongest anim enemies I have ever scanned? <laughs> hmm. Mm. Bad Xal. Oh, oh, that's just the enemy time. That's not the level. Oh, 
a corrupt Devi Gunner, let's say corrupt Devi Gunner 1 uh, enemy level 130 oh. oh yeah I can't, I'm not even uh, high mastery <laughs> Can I can I not go over 675? Well, the max I can uh, do right now it's simulate with uh, level 75. So corrupt the every gun. What happen if I die? The similar chrome? Ah, oh, you can just uh, respawn without losing. Uh... Yeah. Okay. It's just gonna respawn you. I wanna find out if uh... I don't know if like corrupted um... enemies have different uh, perks and stuff. Probably. Do I only have corrupt every gunner? Like, what about the like, regular heavy gunner? Nope. Cannot apply this loadout. Zo and the Constructor Prime are both using the same strike mode. Oh, okay. Patrons. I really want to know if when they release Fortuna and they, you get your your uh, overboard, if you can bring it in regular mission as well, or if it's uh, just for they, Fortuna. I don't know if they're going to let you do it in the regular mission, but I think they said that you'll be able to use it on both uh, the planes of Eidolon and Fortuna. Oh, that would be interesting. Wait, I'm pretty sure I scanned some things that are that says not fully to, fully scanned to unlock. Because I have a mimic here that says fully scanned to unlock, but I already scanned it. Maybe uh, maybe it's in the seed molecule. No, in the what is it called? I don't know anymore. <laughs> in the cephalon thingy. <laughs> 